main engine safety device test. These are the following safety measures and conditions when you carried out the overspeed simulation test. On RCS status menu of control room display, touch sim test. In simulation test menu screen, touch overspeed shutdown test. Touch output RPM to allow automatic RPM increase up to overspeed shut level. On RCS shutdown slowdown screen menu, an overspeed alarm issued, overspeed shutdown, and an alarm monitor, overspeed trip, and MESES abnormal alarm displayed. Acknowledge the alarm. Once the overspeed shutdown test is completed, press the cause reset button, and in RCS, Touch RCS status to put back a normal operation setting. To test the alarm by individual cylinder of oil mist detector. Press test. Select alarm operation check. Press enter. Select cylinder you are going to test, example cylinder number 4. Press down arrow. After selecting of cylinder number 4, press enter. Lower down the set value of the cylinder you are going to test to 0. Press enter. To check, press enter. Then the alarm activated to the selected cylinder and in the alarm monitor, MESCS abnormal and oil mist high alarm displayed. Acknowledge the alarm. To put back a normal operation setting, press enter, then press cost reset button. To test the alarm in all cylinder at the same time, follow these procedures. Acknowledge the alarm. Then press cost reset button. You can test also in the engine side sensor. All you can do is to remove the connector from the sensor, then the alarm sounded. If ever by removing the sensor connector doesn't work, point the connector into a white piece of paper, then the alarm sounded. Put back the sensor connector, acknowledge the alarm, and press the cost reset button. Main engine fuel oil leak alarm test. Open cover. Then push the test switch towards the direction of the arrow and the alarm activated. After the test, push it back to normal position. Main engine alloy and let low pressure alarm. Close the valve and loosen the bolt to release the pressure in the pressure transmitter and the alarm activated. After alarm test, put back to normal position. Main engine piston cooling low pressure trip alarm. Close the valve and loosen the bolt to release the pressure in the pressure transmitter and the low pressure trip alarm activated. And then the main engine stopped. Acknowledge the alarm. After test, put back to normal position. Press the cost reset button to put back in normal operation setting. Generator engine safety device test. To begin with, we are going to test the cooling fresh water low pressure alarm. Close the valve and loosen the bolt to release the pressure in the pressure transmitter, then alarm activated. To reset, acknowledge the alarm, tighten the bolt, and open the valve. Lube oil inlet low pressure alarm. Close the valve and loosen the bolt to release the pressure in the pressure transmitter, and the alarm activated. Acknowledge the alarm. To reset, tighten the bolt and open the valve. Lube oil low pressure trip. Close the valve and loosen the bolt to release the pressure in the pressure transmitter. The alarm activated and then the generator engine stopped. Acknowledge the alarm. To reset, tighten the bolt and open the valve. Overspeed trip. At the control room, open the back of the generator engine panel. You can find the overspeed relay. Push the trip test button and the overspeed trip alarm activated and the generator engine stopped. But some PSC and classification society are not satisfied for this test. You can carry out the overspeed trip at the engine side by increasing the speed in the governor system. Increase the generator engine RPM to overspeed trip level and the engine stopped. Acknowledge the alarm. To put back a normal setting, lower the RPM in the governor, then start the engine and put back to the service RPM. Open fuel oil leak alarm system. Lift the float switch and the alarm activated. 
After the test, put back to normal operating position. Steering gear safety device test. No voltage alarm. Steering gear motor is in running mode. Switch off the breaker and confirm the voltage alarm is activated. Switch on the breaker to reset. Overload alarm. Inside the panel, in the thermal relay, slide the trip indicator to trip side using screwdriver or any pointed object. Then confirm the overload alarm activated. Push the trip indicator to reset. Face fail alarm. Push the test button and face fail alarm activated. Push trip reset button to reset. Hydraulic oil low level alarm. Remove the TM4 timer from the socket. Then the alarm activated. Put it back to reset. Auxiliary boiler safety device test. Flame failure alarm. While the boiler is in firing operation, remove the flame eye sensor. Then flame will stop and flame failure alarm activated. Acknowledge the alarm. Put it back to reset. Low water level fuel cutoff alarm. To carry out the test, close the upper valve and the lower valve of McDonnell. Then slowly open drain valve to drain water from McDonnell and the alarm activated and the boiler shut down. To reset, close drain valve and open lower and upper valves. For magnetic level gauge type, follow the same procedure as McDonnell type. I hope this video helps you in your future PSC and Classification Society inspection. Watch out for some safety device tests in part 2.